Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. This is a full body Pilates mat workout. So let's begin the class. We're going to start in a seated position. You may cross your leg. You can choose any leg to be in front of the other. Sitting nice and tall. We're going to start with some rib cage movement. So once you find the upright position, let's go ahead and bring our chest forward and then over to your right and backward. So you're going towards a lateral shift and a forward extension and a flexion. Just mobilizing the rib cage before we begin with the rest of the exercises. Warming up the spine. So we're just gonna breathe, inhale and exhale. And again, in breath and exhale. One more time. And then stop that and let's swap the legs. And let's go over to the other side. We go forward and off to your left. And an in breath and an exhale. You can really try to push the boundaries of your rib cage here. So don't be shy. Go ahead and move the rib cage as wide, as open as you can. And let's do one more time. Exhale, and then come back to center. Sitting nice and tall, open your arms out to the side and tilt over towards the right side, taking the, uh, the top arm over for a good lateral stretch. And lengthen up through the spine. Exhale, come back up. Over to your left as you inhale. Exhale, stretch over. And lengthen up through the spine. Exhale, come back to center. Let's switch the legs again. And over to your right as you inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen through. Exhale, come back up. And last one, side bend. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. And exhale and let it go. Now let's face the front of your mat. Have your feet hip width distance apart, approximately about a fist between your heels. Again, sitting nice and tall, perching on your pelvis and your sitting bone. And bring your hands underneath the thigh, lengthening through the spine. Now as we inhale, we draw the belly in, we pull that pelvic floor muscles up and re lean back, reach the spine nice and tall. Exhale, draw the abdominal a little deeper and pull yourself back to an upright position. Inhale as you lengthen away. Exhale, upright. Again, inhale, lift and lengthen the spine away. Exhale. Two more time. Inhale. You want to feel like you're wearing a tight corset wrapping around your waistline. Exhale. Pull that corset muscle in a little deeper. One more time. Inhale. Lengthening out. Exhale. Come back upright. Arms are forward. Now here, as you inhale, open your left leg out to the side. Exhale. Return it back. Inhale, drop to the right leg. Exhale, inhale, drop the left one. Exhale, inhale. So we are engaging your inner thigh to pull the leg back to an upright position. And in breath. And also the pelvic floor and the lower abs here. And inhale, we open. Exhale, so alternating the legs. Two more sets. In breath. Exhale. In breath. One more each side. Exhale. Last one here. Exhale. We stay. Inhale, prepare. As we exhale, scooping the belly in and up and over, bringing your spine into 
a C curve here. Then we go ahead and roll the pelvis back. Take your sacrum, take your lumbar spine to the floor. Inhale, we stay. Exhale, get a deeper scoop into the belly. Bring yourself up and over, forward, over the hips. And then lengthen through the spine. Exhale, into the C curve. Then we roll back, curling the pelvis under. Get the sacrum onto the floor first. Then exhale, deepen the scoop in the abs. Pull yourself over the hips and lift the spine tall. One more time. Exhale, C curve. Then we roll back, roll back. Now stay in the chest lift positioned and then bring your feet closer towards the bottom. Arms down by the side and release your head down. We're going to set ourselves for a pelvic curl. I'm just going to move myself down the mat here. All right, checking that you still are in a parallel fit position, the collarbone nice and open, and your pelvis is in neutral position. Okay, guys, take in breath. Exhale, as we scoop the belly in, we curl the pelvis up to the bridging position, pressing the two side of the shoulder blades down to the floor, not the shoulder blades, the shoulders. In breath. Exhale, we roll down the spine and release the pelvis back to center. And then again, in breath. Exhale, we roll up again, articulating up one vertebra at a time and press the feet down, lift the pelvis a little higher, in breath. Exhale, roll down the spine and release the pelvis down and let's do two more times up here in breath exhale press the hips up drawing the belly nice and tight can we lift the pelvis a little higher so opening the front of your hips here exhale roll down and release the next time we're going to stay up breathe in and then breathe out rolling up rolling up opening the chest lengthening the neck now i like you to release your glute muscles then lower the pelvis just off the floor and then exhale scoop the lower abs and curl the pelvis up again and then inhale lengthening the pelvis down exhale pelvic curl up and inhale down exhale blue lift inhale down exhale curl lift inhale release the bottom and then exhale hip extension lift the pelvis up two more in breath exhale last one in breath exhale we hold at the top then we exhale we roll the spine back down to the floor well done Right, coming back to the neutral pelvis position and we stay. Take an in breath, stabilize the pelvis. As we exhale, lift the right leg up to tabletop, knee over the hip. And we lower the leg down, movement from the hip joint. Exhale, stabilize the pelvis, bring the leg back up. Inhale. Exhale. So imagine you have a glass of wine resting on your pelvis. As you lift the leg and lower the leg, the pelvis is so stable that it doesn't spill the wine glass. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Lift. One more. In breath. Exhale. Lift. And we rest the leg back down to the floor. And over to the other side, stabilize the pelvis and lift the pelvic floor, lower abs on. And we breathe and lift the leg up to tabletop, knee over the hips. And inhale, lowering the leg from the hip joint, not from the knee. Exhale, lifting the leg from the hip joint. So inhale down. Exhale, so we use our abdominal muscle to stabilize the pelvis. We lift and move the leg with the hip flexors muscles. We exhale, folding up, inhale, lengthening open the hip. Exhale, folding up, inhale, one more time, exhale, inhale down. Now let's take it up again as you, inhale. 
As you exhale, let's lift the other leg and switch for the leg changes. Exhale. And again, the abdominal muscles working so hard here to stabilize the pelvis. And you want to keep the lumbar spine, the lower back, nice and constant as well. So we want to keep the gap underneath the lower back stable all the time. Whatever gap you have underneath your lower back. So keeping the pelvis in neutral, keeping the lower spine, the spine in neutral. Abs are working to stabilize the spine. Two more sets. Last set. Last one. And bring the leg back down to the floor and rest the feet down. Interlacing the hands to the back of the head. Ready for the chest lift, the elbows may come off the floor a little bit here. Now, in breath, as we exhale, we're gonna scoop the belly in, lengthening the lower spine to the floor. Then we'll lift the head and the chest up, and let's take the right leg up with you too. In breath, lower them down. Again, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, Inhale, two more. In breath, last one. And we change late. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, inhale down. And two more. Last one, and down. Okay, let's go into chest lift with rotation. So lift the right leg up, and we're going to lift the chest and rotate towards the right leg. And come back down, same leg. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath. One more and switch the leg and rotate your body over to the other side and down and and back one more and come back down well done open the arms up to the T position here we float the leg up to tabletop one and second leg joining, squeezing the thighs together, rotate your body towards me for spine twist supine. We inhale, exhale, return back to center. Keeping the inner thighs working, squeezing the legs together, opposite shoulder stays down, exhale, return everything back to the middle. Inhale as we rotate. Exhale, we come back. Inhale, we rotate. Exhale, come back. Inhale, twist. Exhale. Let's do one more time. Inhale, twist. Exhale, and stay in the middle. And then bring the arms overhead for the hundreds breath. Exhale, lift the arms, lift the chest. Arms are forward. Inhale, the arms float up and then return the body down. Again, arms up, head up, chest lift. Inhale, lifting up the arms and return back down. Two more times. Opening the collarbone and lifting the arms. Inhale first, then return the rest of the body down. And one last one. Exhale. And in breath, and come back down to the hundreds with leg changes here. So we breathe out. In breath, we lower one foot down, just one, and exhale. And inhale for five. As we exhale, switch. And switch. Switch. 
and switch. And switch. And switch. And two more sets. And last set. Stay. Bring both legs up to tabletop. Pull the belly in. Lower both legs down. Down, down, down. And then release the head and the chest down. Well done. Stretch the legs along on the floor. Take your arms overhead for the roll-ups. We inhale as we lift the head and the chest up. Exhale, pull in the center tight. Bring your body up and over your pelvis here. So we want to have the abdominal scooping in really nicely, but at the same time, the spinal, the back muscles are working to lengthen the spine away from the gravity. Then we exhale, we roll the pelvis back, get the sacrum down on the floor, lumbar spine down on the floor, and then take the arms overhead. And we repeat, inhale, lift. Exhale, pull in and go up and over. Inhale, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, send the pelvis back. Melt in the lower spine and then take the arm overhead. Two more times here. Inhale, lift. Exhale. C curve. Inhale. Exhale. Get the pelvis under. Get the pelvis under and take the arms overhead. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Sink your belly in to lift the spine up and over. And we stay here. I want you to pull in the belly a little deeper. Curl the pelvis back a little bit. And then just drag the legs with you for rolling like a ball. So we are balancing on your tailbone. The feet are floating off the floor. Now here. Keep the shape, lock your arms, we inhale, roll to the shoulder, exhale, inhale, exhale, in breath, exhale, gaze to the pelvis, inhale, exhale, two more times please, exhale, last time here, exhale, and hold, can we balance for a moment? Take the feet off the floor, gaze to the pelvis, focus on the breathing. We stay here for five, four, three, two, and release. Place the feet down. Okay, move back a little bit. Bring your legs in a diamond position. All right, sitting tall, arms out to the side. Now here, let's go to our spine twist sitting. Now over to me, double breath. We twist, inhale, center, out of side. Inhale, middle, and twist. Center, and twist. Center, and twist. And last set. Last one, and center. Release the arms, bring your feet to a parallel position, take your hands behind you for a modified back support here. So your feet are hip width distance apart again, chest nice and open. Your fingertips are facing forward or they can go to the side too. All right, now from here, as you breathe out, press the feet, lift the pelvis up, open the front of the chest, neck is long. And then we hinge down from the pelvis, opening the chest, bottom down to the floor. Again, exhale, we lift, and inhale, lower, again, exhale, we lift, inhale, lower, one more, exhale, Lift, inhale, we lower. Now straighten the legs. We're going to do the back support here four more times. Exhale, we lift, 
in breath, hinging down. And exhale, lift, in breath. And two more times, exhale, in breath. Last one, exhale, in breath, and release. Well done. Turn your body facing me. Let's go to a side kick. Onto your forearm, straighten both legs long. Make sure the shoulder and the, the elbows are in one alignment, vertical alignment. Engaging the underneath waistline. Legs are nice and long. Take the top arm over behind you. Lift the top leg up, pulling in the center. Dorsiflex your foot. Let's go forward. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. In breath. And. And. Three more. Two more. Last one. Reach back and bring the legs in front of the bottom foot. Take the top arm down by the side. Let's go to a side bridge. We breathe out, press the feet, lift the center, lift the pelvis, take the top arm up. Find that little plank position and lengthening down. Again, three more times. Exhale, we lift. And inhale, lengthening up. Two more, exhale. In breath. Last one, exhale. In breath, release. Bend the knees, tuck it in, tuck the feet in. Lift the underneath arm up to the ceiling and side bend yourself over. And let it go. Let's go over to the other side. Okay, we got the forearm down, elbow and the shoulder in one vertical alignment. Lifting the underneath waistline, top hand behind your head, proud open chest. Take the top leg up, dorsiflex, and let's go. Inhale, exhale, and Three more set. Two more. Last one. Stay. Bring the top leg over the bottom. Take the top arm down by the side. We in breath. Exhale as we press the feet down, forearm down, lifting up the spine and the arm up to the ceiling. And as you go down, think about lengthening the spine. Again, three more times. Exhale, lift. And an inhale, down. Two more. Exhale, lift. And in breath, down. Last one. Exhale, lift. And well done. Tuck the knees in, feet underneath you. And an underneath arm, your left arm comes up to the sky. And then take yourself over to a lateral stretch. And then lengthening up tall and release the arm. Let's go to quadruped position for our cat stretch. So vertical alignment of the shoulder and the heel of the palm. The knees to the center of your hip joint. Your spine in the neutral position. Neck is long. Pick up the belly. Breathe out. Rounding the back into flexion. And lengthening through neutral, hold the lumbar spine. Take the upper back up to an extension as you inhale. And then back to neutral, exhale to a flexion. And then through neutral, upper back up into extension. And then through neutral and rounding. And then through neutral and upper back and then through neutral one more time exhale flexing the spine and neutral and upper back and neutral well done i like you to stretch your left leg out 
press the foot down on the floor, and then send the pelvis back towards the heel. So you lean the body back and you're gonna stretch the inside of the left leg here. Keeping the neck long, stay here, in breath. Exhale, one more, in breath. Exhale, and bring the body over the hand and the knees and take the leg in. Stretch your right leg out to the side, press the foot down and send the pelvis back. And neck is long, stay here, in breath. Exhale, in breath, exhale, one last one, in breath, exhale, and come back up over the hands and knee, take the leg back in here. Now I'd like you to drop your right elbow down to the floor and your left elbow in a slight bend position here, but you still have the shoulder over the elbow and the hand here. Okay, now I want you to straighten the opposite leg. So I've got my left leg out and my right forearm down here. Okay, now lift the left leg up into hip extension. Make sure that you don't sink in the lower spine. Pick up the lower abs here. Now I want you to circle the leg out to the side of the hip. Bring it up, up over like a rainbow and circle it over to the other side of the mat over the mat and over to the side of the left hip, lifting up and over to the opposite side, pass the mat on the floor and then bring it up and then down and then lift. Let's pick up the pace and then tap across and then lift and then tap to the side and then lift and then tap across and then lift and tap to the side and then lift and tap across and then lift and tap to the side, we'll lift, and tap across, we'll lift, two more sets and tap, we'll lift, across and tap, and lift, last one and tap side, and lift, across and side, and lift, back to the center, lower the leg, bring the knee in, we switch the arm, I have my left elbow down, softening, through my right elbow, straightening my right leg, holding my center, lifting the leg up over to the side of my right hip, bring it up over the rainbow and across to the opposite side, diagonally side, and then up and then side, up and over the rainbow and across the opposite side, and then lift, let's pick up the pace, and then tap, and lift, and across, and lift, and a tap, and lift, and across, and lift, and a tap, and lift, and across, and lift, and a tap, and lift, and across. Three more times. And a tap, lift, and across, lift, and a tap, lift, and across, lift. Last set here. Up and across. Lift back to center, lower the leg down, bring it in, bring your hand back underneath you, tuck the toes under, nice long neutral spine. As you breathe out, pull up the abdominal muscle towards the spine and float the knees up. We stay here in the modified front support for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, lower it down, excellent. Let's go down to the floor, onto your belly for baby swan. So bring the forearm on the side of the shoulder, elbows are reaching down towards the feet. We breathe out, we pick up the belly here, energy through the legs down towards the toes. As we inhale, we need to glide the shoulder blades down towards the mid to back and then lengthening through the tip of the head Keep the forearm pressing down to the floor and take your upper body to your maximum thoracic extension and release down. Again, inhale, energy through the legs, lifting up the upper back. Exhale, we go down. Three more times, inhale, as we lift. 
exhale we go down two more inhale lift exhale try to use less arm as much as possible here so focus on your back extensors to lift the spine up and exhale we come down all right come up onto your forearm into a tripod position arm elbows slightly wider than the shoulder neck is long we're going to do a single leg kick we float the legs up and kick in the right leg double breath and left we inhale we inhale and exhale and exhale and inhale and inhale and and inhale and and Lift that abdominal wall off the floor and two more set and stay, extend both legs straight, lifting the back a little high off the floor, legs off the floor still and release well done and bring the forearm back to the side of the body push the floor pull the belly in round the back sit back to your rest position we inhale here and stay for a moment exhale one more time in breath exhale and let's go ahead and roll the spine up coming up to a seated position and come up to a kneeling position for our thigh stretch. Okay, take your arms forward. Imagine you have a table underneath the arm. I want you to gently press the arm to the imaginary table, lifting up the center. Make sure that we don't sway our back. Pull up the belly, engaging through your hip extensors. So from here, as we breathe out, lift the abdominal, engage your hip extensors. Then we're gonna lean back from the knees, hold, and then come back up and let it go. Again, exhale, pull up, press down the imaginary um, table, and then come back up and let it go. Again, exhale, we lean from the knees, lean back as far as you can while you're maintaining the whole structure, and then come back, and let it go. Exhale. Lean back. Inhale, we hold. Exhale. Pull everything back to center and release. One last one. Exhale. Gather your center and lean back. Hold. In back. Exhale. Pull back and let it go release sit the pelvis back and stretch your arms forward for another rest position stay here inhaling exhaling and last one here inhaling exhaling and then go ahead and roll the spine back up again sitting nice and tall well done that is all we have for today. Thank you for joining me and I wish you a lovely day.